Boys and girls, we are glad that you are here today. We're glad that you brought your moms and dads here for worship, even on a snowy day. Who knows what this is? Who's got one of these things? What do we call these things? What do we call it? An Etch-a-Sketch. Moms and dads, remember these? They still make them. How about that? And how does this work? Who can show me? All right. What do we do? You go like that. You twist that little knob, and it goes up. It goes down. How about this one over here? One's for sideways. One's for up and down. Now, what if I'm drawing a picture on this? What if I'm drawing a picture and I make a mistake? What do I do? What do I do? If you do what? Okay, will you stand up and show me? Okay, so if we want to if we want to erase that, what do we do? All right, let's see. It's all gone. Good job. Now, if I was drawing on a piece of paper and I made a mistake with a marker, what would I have to do with that piece of paper? I'd have to... I'd have to wad it up and throw it away. But with my Etch-a-Sketch, isn't that something? I can draw a picture, and when I'm done, I can shake it, and I get to start all over again. That's nifty, isn't it? Now, why are we talking about this? I'll tell you. Do you ever make mistakes? I mean, not when you're drawing. Do you ever make mistakes in your life, boys and girls? Does anybody? Moms and dads, have you ever made any mistakes that you'd be willing to own up to with your kids? All right. Wouldn't it be great when you and I make a mistake, when we do the wrong thing or we say the wrong thing or we write the wrong thing, wouldn't it be great if somehow we could just shake it and it would all go away? <laughs> wouldn't that be great? But you know, life doesn't always work that way, does it? Sometimes those mistakes stick with us. But here's what I want to say to you today is, boys and girls, we have a God that erases our mistakes just like the Etch-a-Sketch. We have a God, and this is what we're going to talk about today. We have a God that's the God of second chances. Second chances. Which means if you make a mistake, you get another chance. In fact, in fact, there were many people in the Bible that didn't get, just get a second chance. They got a third chance and a fourth chance and a fifth chance. Is that good news, that you get a second chance? It is. Now listen to this. Here's the hard part. Are you ready? Is there anybody here that doesn't want to get a second chance when you make a mistake? Is there anybody here? Nobody. We all want to have a second chance. Now listen to this. Is there anybody here that wants to give other people a second chance when they make a mistake? All right, I hope so. I hope so. Because moms and dads, this is true, isn't it? Sometimes it's hard to give other people a second chance when they've let us down or they've disappointed us. Sometimes that's hard, isn't it? So maybe we need to learn from our kids who maybe are a little more forgiving than I am sometimes or you are. But listen, we get this all from the God of second chances. That's good news. Will you pray with me? And then we'll, um, we'll head out. Let's pray. God, I thank you on the snowy morning for these boys and girls. I thank you for their faith. I thank you, God, most of all, that you're a God that gives us second chances, a God that doesn't make us wallow in our mistakes and our faults, but you're one that gives us a new start and a new beginning each and every day. Thank you, Lord. These things we ask and pray and believe today. And all the people of God together say...